exercise that targets uh, the rotator cuff muscles and most specifically the subscap, which is the one that does internal rotation. And if you have a shoulder that likes to sit forward in the joint, uh, it may sound counterintuitive to work an internal rotator muscle, but what happens for a lot of us is our pec is really, really useful and helpful, and as a result, it gets kind of bossy. It sort of takes over for the job of the rotator cuff. So this exercise is just meant to sort of retrain your brain to use that muscle to suck your arm bone kind of back into the joint. Uh, so gravity isn't quite so helpful with the pack in pulling the arm down. So what you'll need for this one is some sort of rolled up towel or pillow, something pretty small, uh, and a TheraBand. I've got a medium to light one and I've just tied a loop around it. So again, not fancy. So what I'll have you do here is just take your arm up and then let your elbow rest here. And what I'm looking for, or what you want to look for at home, is that you let the shoulder kind of drop back and heavy into the joint. Brilliant. So you just kind of want to be flat across the front of the chest here. And if you don't have a helpful spouse or child to hold onto your prop, you can also tie it to a chair or something behind you. So this can be done on your own. So I'm going to have you hold onto this guy for me. Great. All right, so here, uh, what I'm gonna have you do is, if you notice her, she's just got kind of some nice space or openness in the front of the shoulder, and that's perfect, that's what we want. And all I want you to do is keep your, uh, that space or openness in the shoulder, and just slowly pull your hand kind of diagonally across, uh, a little bit more towards your belly button. Beautiful, and then come back up, and maybe do like two more like that. And you'll notice here that there's not a whole lot of activity or jumping forward of the shoulder, but uh, pause for a moment, let's do kind of an ugly one. Pull your arm forward and kind of let your shoulder roll forward and join. Here you'll notice there's a lot of activity and she'll probably feel more tonality in the front of her shoulder. So ideally that doesn't happen. So you may just want to go a little slow and small to really master that internal rotation. Thank you.